Welcome to the XTech Solutions YouTube channel. Today we'll discuss how to set up a Gmail email account on an Outlook 2016 um, email client. Now, this um, the procedures. It's I mentioned it's for Outlook 2016 client, but the same procedures will, will work for Outlook 2013 as well. And this will um, this was uh, for setting up a Gmail email account, whether you have it in Google Apps or as a free account, whether you have something like um, jo um, Joe Smith. Um, J, J Smith at company a dot com. That's you know that's a Google Apps account, a paid Google Apps account, or you have the just like generic J Smith at gmail dot com. You know both ways will work, and I'll I'll discuss those um, differences below and how to set it up. But um, let's get started. We're gonna launch our Outlook client right here. Go to all apps. Click on Outlook 2016 client. We can go to the welcome. Do you want to set up an email client? Yes, you're ready to set it up. And this is very important. Gmail, setting up Gmail on Outlook client, unfortunately, it does not have an auto discovery feature yet. So we'd have to manually set it up. So we just go to manual setup. And it takes a few steps longer, but um, you know we'll walk you through it, and it's gonna become second nature once you uh, see the settings. It's a, same settings, um, same port settings and server settings, um, regardless of what count, you're, what kind of um, Gmail account you're setting up. So just make sure you set select the Pop or IMAP. It's it's IMAP protocol that we're gonna use, so make sure that's selected. So in here it's Pop or IMAP. You hit next. And here we get started. So your, the name, the first field is your name field, and this is arbitrary. But of course, you want you know the best. You want to have um, have the best subscript uh, description of um, of the email account. And for instance, you were mentioning Joe Smith before, so we would type in Joe Smith in that example. But of course, we're going to use our company um, account. So in this case, it's um, X Tech Solutions. And the email address we have right here, you have to type in the exact email address. So it's xtechsolutionsnyc. This is our example at gmail.com. In in the case of a Google paid Google Apps account, you would type in that email address, with like you know, whatever at company like jo Joe Smith at company.com. And um, the next field will be um, account type. We're using the IMAP protocol, so make sure you select IMAP. The incoming mail server is imap.gmail.com. Outgoing email server is smtp.gmail.com. And over here, this username field autofills. So, in in the case of a in the case of a of a free Gmail account, you can just leave this last part blank. You can just put in the first part. This will work also. But um, if you have a paid Google Apps account, you must put in your full email account and this username so you know but in, um, in our case we'll, we'll just put in the full email address and that'll be alright we're gonna put in um, the password here make sure you click remember your password so you're gonna be always prompted for that um, whenever you open your email client you gotta click on more settings here general this is the same keep this the same outgoing email server you select um, the the check mark and use the same basically we're gonna use the same settings as your incoming mail server. What this does is that the, the when you send emails out that requires authentication um, for security purposes for, for you know so people aren't spam um, hit with spam emails. This settings tells um, the Outlook client to use the same settings as when you're logging in to check your email. So in 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 the case of Gmail, it's going to be the same settings. So that's why we use this um, check mark here. Use same settings. The advanced tab is where you put in your custom security settings, and it's it's constant for no matter what kind of Gmail account you're using, whether it's a paid account or a free account. In this case, we select the um, use for the incoming server. You select use the following under the use the following type of encrypted connection. You select SSL and automatically changes to 993. In case it doesn't, you gotta make sure you enter 993 manually here. And this um, this authentic this um, encryption must be um, selected as SSL. So the next one we select um, for outgoing server, we have to use the TLS protocols. We use TLS and here it doesn't change its, but the port we use is 587. So I have to manually enter it here. This uh, sent items here, I like to check off do not save copies of sent items. What this means is that 
when the email account is set up on Outlook and you're retrieving emails and all that and all the emails get synced up, there's a local copy of the email stored on your computer. And uh, there's a separate file which keeps um, a track of like all your, your non-Gmail um, items such as your calendars, your contacts, your tasks. If you don't, if you uncheck this option, do not save copies of sent items. A copy of your sent items will be sent, saved there as well. But I always felt that that's redundant. So I like, to, um, you know, your sent items will always be kept on the cloud. So that's, um, you don't need to worry. So that's why I like to do do not save copies of sent items, just so that there's not a duplicate of the sent items being put on the sent items folder and, you know, stored somewhere else in your local computer when in fact it's all the information's on the cloud. So I like to say do not save copies of sent items and hit OK, click Next, and we'll give this a few seconds, but this is going to eventually authenticate. Let's see, it's not responding, but it's, it's, uh, it's doing its thing right now, and we just got to give it a few seconds. Right. Still going. Okay, it's taking a little bit longer than I thought. Give it a few more seconds. Not responding. Let do its thing. So basically, it's it's syncing. What's doing is that it's syncing your emails right now. And yep, your IMAP wants you to alert your following failure. Okay, if you ever get this setting, basically this tells you that you must log in with your um, to your Gmail account and um, change the authentication settings. What this is what this is doing is that it's preventing you from setting up your Gmail account in Outlook because the um, the authentication settings, the security settings on your Gmail account on the cloud are not allowing it. So the way we fix this is we got to log into Gmail. And for those of you that don't get this error, you know everything is good. So you're you're on your way. Okay, so we have it right here. We're gonna log into our Gmail account. Sign in attempt prevented. Set we got an email right now saying sign in attempt prevented. We gotta go to your security settings. Right here, change the authentication settings. IMAP, forwarding IMAP. IMAP is enabled. That's That was the reason why. The IMAP protocol was disabled for it. We have to enable it. So basically, we just go to um, login to that email account. You go, you go to settings, and then you go to forwarding and pop IMAP tab. So, you know, enable. IMAP save changes and let's just see if this this um this fixes it. So next again, hit OK. Hopefully it took the setting now and remembers it. Just gotta give it like a minute or so. It's trying to connect to the to the the Outlook client is trying to connect to the um, to the Gmail account now on the cloud. And let's we'll we'll wait a bit and see um see how it goes. Okay, still going. Okay. The fact that it's taking so long is a good thing because it's Outlook is trying to do everything to connect and Gmail is going to respond. Okay, so there's still a failure issue. So this leads me to believe that there's um, another authentication uh, failure on the account. So I'm going to take a look. I'm going to log back into the account. Make sure, first of all, I'm going to make sure we have the right email, right password. And while that's going, we're going to check this other settings, make sure everything else is good.
this one other thing that um, that could prevent that could uh, sabotage your outlook from connecting is if your um, the two step there's a security setting called two step verification that must be turned off if you want to allow the outlook client to connect so I'm going to do um, a Google search right now to see how to disable that 78740 I believe nope that was not I'm trying to get the code but I think I remember anyway yep seven eight seven five four so seven eight seven five four failure outlook chances are it's um it's a two-step verification process that was um that was not allowing you Gmail. basic authentication yes basic authentication has been enabled increase the security resolve this issue you must okay this is very important if you get this error message which you're doing which we're having right here this failure, 78754 failure issue. It's because <coughs> there's an incompatibility. If you're using Outlook 2016 for Mac or Outlook for 2011, which you're not, but um, what will happen is that we do have a situation where this issue occurs when we try to sync a Gmail account after July 15, 2014. Basic authentication has not been enabled for your Gmail account. It has, in this case, I suspect this has not been enabled. So we're going to enable this basic authentication so that we can connect our Outlook client. So we're going to go right here, allow less secure apps, open a new tab, turn on. We're already logged into our email accounts, that's important. Turn on, allow access access for less secure apps. In this case, it considers, uh, it considers Outlook as a less secure app. I don't know why, but you know we're doing that. So uh, we have to turn it on, and this should save the setting. You can hit OK on the setting. This should be able to connect. Let's give it um, another minute. We save the setting, and this should be good to go. There we go. This is the test. Logging to e incoming email server. It's complete within a few seconds. Sending e test email. This will be complete as well. We are good to go. We click finish here. And we just let the email sync up. Depending on how many emails account on your Gmail account, this may take just a few minutes or maybe an hour or so, depending how, or, or, or even more, depending on how it goes. So. You know, we um, our email account was used for a bunch of Craigslist posting, so you know, you that's why you have the emails here, and little by little it's gonna sync up, and um, you know, there you have it. You have your Gmail account folders here. You have your sent mails here. This is the uh, test email that was sent before, and this is the email that yep, there we go. This is the email that was received. So we could delete this later on, but um, once your emails are just um, once your Outlook is connected to the G or Gmail account, you know, just give it a while to sync up. So make sure it says connected, and um, within a certain amount of time, depending on how large your email account is, all the emails will be synced up. And there you have it. That's how you set up an, uh, your Outlook 2016 or 2013 email client and connect uh, how to set it up to your, um, to your Gmail account and uh, retrieve emails and uh, retrieve emails from it and you you know also send emails you can also send emails from this account as well All right so thank you for watching this video if you like what you saw please subscribe to our channel and if you have any comments or suggestions please write them down on the comment section and we will consider them for our next video thank you